Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is my first video ever and today I'm going to be doing flight school on FS2020. We're going to just jump right into this. Yep. So training. Yep, this is all that. Yep. Explore different views. Pitch roll the aircraft. Skew the aircraft with yaw. Add reduce power. It's simple as that. Let's just go. Maybe I'd like to explain, but I don't know. <laughs> Yep, the, the picture says there, one is the rudder, two is the flaps, three is the rudder, four is the elevator. And I'm currently, I'm currently playing with an Xbox controller because I play flight sim with a mouse yoke. I will, I will explain later. But uh, we're gonna be starting real soon with uh, flight lesson number one. <laughs> Here we go. Let's start. Welcome to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. Okay. This session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? Yep, basic controls. First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Okay. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Uh -huh. Hold left or right for a quick view out the side windows. Let's go left. This is Red Rock territory. Use left, right, up, down to translate the camera inside the cockpit. Up, left, down, right. Okay. Oh, I just moved my camera back where it was. Uh, that's the right click. There you go, that's right click. And right stick. Save a custom camera by pressing Ctrl Alt 1. Uh, whoops. A bit too much. Down a bit. Ctrl Alt 1. There we go. Oops. I didn't mean to actually Ctrl Alt 1. I pressed Alt 1. Silly me. Get back to pilot view by pressing right stick. Right stick. Press Alt 1 anytime to call your custom camera. Alt 1. See if you can spot the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Okay. X, that's a smart Visual cam. Confirmation on the airport. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. Time Let's to go fly back. This bird. Press F to return. The first control on our training oh. list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor oh, that's saying a yoke. the yoke right is like there. a steering wheel. Oh, I can hide it, I can sure, show it. You can turn, but you can also pitch. For starters, it controls the ailerons. Mm -hmm. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Okay. Go ahead and try rolling. Let's go to the right. Nice. Okay. Now let's see you level back out. Oh, that's very touchy. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Good. Okay. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator. Okay, we're gonna do pitch soon. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Okay. Pull back on the stick. The plane starts to climb. Give oh, it a shot. There we go. The most valuable Ooh. things in aviation are speed and altitude. Okay. But notice, when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. You could add more power. Pitch up, 
and then the speed will be yeah we're going down just like that your speed picking up again as the nose pitches down as you level back out let's talk about another control the rudders at your feet for some reason oh, she's going to explain sorry Which I rarely use. And watch the plane's nose skew to either side. Okay. Simple enough. Oh goodness! Oh no! Wow, that is extremely touchy. I'm just barely touching the triggers. Oh no! That is something. I'm not gonna you touch the controls. The Only the throttle now. Full control over the power output of the engine. The need for speed. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Okay, let's go all the way idle. There goes surprise, my throttle. Surprise. Our altitude is decreasing. And airspeed is also decreasing. This might be a good time for a pilot. Oh, but we're pitching BS. down. Okay, that's a PSA. Right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. Okay, full throttle, let's go. Oh my goodness. It is extremely there you go. speed is increasing and as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing too. So I guess that is the conclusion of the flight tutorial. Well, flight tutorial number one in FS 2020. Um, this is my first YouTube video, first ever. Um, but before I finish, I want to explain something. Um, first of all, I'm flying with an Xbox controller like I said earlier. Because apparently there's no mouse yoke option in the game currently. Um, I hope the devs will add this option sometime in the future um, based on how I feel about the, f the the flight controls I am barely for the ailerons it's extremely touchy as you can see here I'm just barely moving the stick and it really wants to go I'm just barely tilting the stick and it really wants to go. I don't know if it's really like that in a small Cessna or the sensitivity is too high, which is probably the case or that's just me. I don't know. But with the pitch, mm, not sure about it. Either way, it might be the same. I don't know. And um, I just tried out the rudders. So, oh goodness. Normally, you don't use rudders mid-flight because this will happen. I'm barely touching the triggers right now on my Xbox controller and... Wow, it's very touchy. Anyway, throttle's alright. That's like A to accelerate, B to decelerate. It's no problem after all. I guess I might have to be I'm, I guess I might have to get used to this but for now um, with my for when I do more FS 2020 videos I'm gonna do really terrible takeoffs and really terrible landings so that's going to be a first based on how I feel about the sense about the controls and the sensitivity but uh, yeah, anyways, 
let's uh, finish the flight. All right, I have control. Good job. There we go. We're done with the complete basic controls training. Yep, that is flight school lesson number one done. And of course, the loading menu has a loading screen has a tooltip. Anyways, that is it. This is my first YouTube vid ever. If you guys want me to make more videos like these featuring the flight tutorials, which in this case I'll be making more until I go to the end here, which is the number eight first solo navigation. But uh, yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.